from Haiti and uh, uh, really with great respect for the road that he has put Haiti on and the uh, enormous commitment that he has made to transition from reconstruction uh, into a long-term development uh, program. Uh, and under his leadership, uh, elections are now on the horizon, which could, for the first time, uh, provide the filling out of all of the electoral positions uh, to Haiti and begin to stabilize and hopefully uh, build on the progress that he has achieved with respect to economic development, the improvement of the economy, the improvement of health. Uh, the indicators have gone up, and that's the direction that we want to see it going. So, uh, as I was telling the President a minute ago, uh, I had the privilege of representing uh, Massachusetts for many years as Senator. We have a very large and proud uh, Haitian population uh, in and around Boston and throughout the state. Uh, and so, uh, there was huge concern when the earthquake took place. I remember personally attending a mass uh, service, a prayer service at the cathedral. Uh, and all of us trying to signal how important it was that this recommitment to Haiti was going to be different from the past. Uh, we still have the opportunity to fulfill that promise. And so I'm very happy to uh, welcome the President here and I look forward to our conversation. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. I'm very happy to be with you here near my delegation. I'd like to take a minute to thank the people of the United States particularly at the time of big struggle. Today I'm here to talk to you about this new Haiti, a Haiti who wants to defend itself from aid and prioritize investments so we can do a job well. And, uh, yeah. Thank you very, very much for supporting our conversation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What? Chicken. Of course we can. <laughs> he, he was telling me, he misses being a musician, and I was telling him I'm an occasional guitar guy, so we were most likely sometimes we get together. All right. <laughs>